Hey, this is Rod from Ram City. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to clone an existing hard drive in your PC. You might have a big beast like this one or a much smaller one, but the procedure applies for any desktop PC with a Windows operating system. And we're going to clone from an existing drive to a new solid state drive. Now, the recommendation is that you have all of your hardware installed in the case already. And if you want to know how to do that, have a look at this video. Before we get started with the cloning process, I just wanted to have a look at the performance of the existing um, mechanical hard drive. And we can do that with this program called Crystal Dismark. So it's a free download and it gives you all the different performance measurements from the existing hardware. So you can see here that the sequential read speeds are about 94 megabytes a second and the write speeds are around about 105 megabytes a second which is actually pretty good for a factory hard drive or a mechanical hard drive and um, we'll see how much that improves after we put the solid state drive in. The other thing I like to do before we start the cleaning is to run CCleaner which is a, once again a free download. It's a really handy program, gets rid of a lot of temporary files and unneeded things on your computer so that you don't have to clone them over which can end up saving you a lot of time in the cloning process and it will free up a lot of disk space from your hard drive. So to run it, it's really easy. Just download the program, the free version is fine and just select Run Cleaner and it will delete all of the temporary files. Now this is a pretty fresh installation of Windows on this machine so there won't be much but you can see even after a fresh installation and I've hardly done anything with it. I've almost got 100 megabytes of files removed and um, it's quite a large number of files. So cool. all of this saves a bit of time and if you've had your machine running for quite a long time, you'll get a lot of benefit just by running this bit of program uh, or this bit of software before you actually go ahead with the cleaning process. Now to do the cleaning, I'm going to use a program called Macrium and to obtain that, you just need to search for Macrium. want the free edition and uh, we can just go straight to download now and then you need to select download now again now I find that sometimes the download doesn't start properly uh, off the CNET site so just click on restart the download that usually gets it going. The download file is only quite small so we'll just select that and we want the free trial version and we'll get that installed to run after it finishes downloading so just click download. And it's 400 megabytes it's a pretty big program. I'll just pause while we're downloading that. Takes a while depending on how fast your internet access is. It's finished downloading now so we'll just carry on with the installation. There we go, that's finished. So we've got Mac and Reflect installed. Let's run the program. And we'll skip doing the rescue media for now. So what I want to do is I want to clone my existing boot drive to my shiny new SSD. So I'll just select clone this disk. Select the disk to clone to, which is that one there. I'll click on next and I'm just going to leave this as the defaults. There are some advanced options here um, which I'm not going to use this time around and then we'll click on finish and away it goes. So we'll just pause this while this is running and we'll come back to it when it's finished. And Macroom has popped up this little system reserve window. I think it's just to show that it's created this additional drive as it's running, so I'm just going to minimize that while it's going along. 
and that's our cloning process complete. I didn't have a lot of data, so it didn't take very long. And if you've got a lot of data on your drive, it may take quite a bit longer. So I'll just close that window. And now what I'm going to need to do is to reboot the machine, or actually shut the machine down. And I'm just going to switch over the uh, SATA cables between my original source drive and my clone drive. And that's really all I should need to do to be able to then boot off the SSD. Right, so we've booted the system back up and all I did was shut it down and then switch around the SATA cable. So I took the SATA cable that was connected to the source drive out as well as the cloned SSD and I just simply swapped them over so that drive zero is now my SSD. So if we have a look in the disk management program, so that's my original SSD and there's my um, other disk which was around about sort of 320 gig or thereabouts before being formatted. And now if we run the um, Crystal Disk Mark software, we should get a much better result. And as you can see, that's about a two and a half times increase in performance from the old mechanical drive and the reason that it's not higher than that is just because I've got an old system and it's only serial ATA 2.0 controllers. If you had a serial ATA 3.0 controller which would give you 6 gigabits per second you'd expect to have these figures be around about sort of 500 to 550 on the uh, sequential read and write. And that's all for this installation video and thank you for watching.